Welcome back at a 650. Okay, picture this. It has been a tough day at school. Your teacher wanted you to make it through Oregon Trail, but your wagon lost a wheel along the way. Sound familiar? If you're feeling a blast from the past from that, it's because Middle Georgia State students are bringing life back into some old computers, some dating back to the 1980s. Pepper Baker joins us live from the school's new museum to show us some of their collection. Good morning, Pepper. Good morning, Caitlin. It just doesn't get much better than this. I mean, we have Atari games. We have even the old school floppy disks. And I even got to play the age old game of Frogger on the Commodore 64 here, which is much older than I am. But what's even crazier is a 17 year old showed me the ins and outs of how these machines work. These sounds may be familiar if you remember playing video games on a 1982 Commodore 64. It's probably the most influential computer we have in this room. This thing changed everything. Ryan Ashford, a 17-year-old Middle Georgia State student, knows everything there is to know about a machine that's nearly twice his age. I was born in 2002, uh, so I don't know any of these things from when they were new. You know, none of the machines in here are younger than me which is kind of weird. He and his classmates collect old computers and gaming systems through donations, state sales, or in dumpsters and bring them back to life for the college's Museum of Technology. The old dentist's office uh, had a bunch of them and uh, I got them and uh, plugged this machine in when we were there and it actually blew up. Like it actually shot fire out the back of it and terrible, horrible things. And they clean them thoroughly, um, replace capacitors is one of the main things that needs to be done to them. Um, get them up and working. They find the software um, on the internet. Professor Tina Ashford says it helps her students understand the fundamentals of building computers. They learn an appreciation of the past because I think you can learn a lot from past lessons. Uh, it also helps them to um, appreciate where we are now with technology. The rules of insanity apply to these computers. Sometimes doing the same thing 17 times will give you 17 different results and on the 18th time it'll work. He says seeing people using the machines makes it all worth it. It's fun uh, coming in here and uh, seeing what they do, uh, interacting with them, seeing where we've been and where we're going to go. There are about eight machines in this room that you can come down and play games or explore how these computers worked in their glory days. You can also find display cases filled with other vintage technology like flip phones or Toshiba laptops all around the library. Live in Macon, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. I said like a wave of nostalgia hit me. <laughs> the museum's located on the first floor of Macon Campus's library. It's open during the library's operating hours. I might have to go play some Frogger there, Courtney. I'm telling you, that was